Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. For this video, let's do something a little bit strange. So we've been learning lots of concepts that have to do with Bitsy. Avatar, the things we move around, tiles, background, potentially walls, sprites, things we interact with, items, things we use, as well as sprites and items have dialogue, which brings us to all kinds of different things. Usually, when we think about things we create with Bitsy, stories, games, whatever however we want to think about them, we use exits as a connection between different parts. We can do one-way exits or two-way exits. We can move between the different rooms or different subdivisions, different sections of a project. Well, as we gain a new knowledge about how Bitsy works, we can start to change what the default interactions of many things are. Put another way, we don't actually need exits if we don't want them. We can have sprites, or even items, do what are called room actions. One of those is exit. We can have an interaction with a sprite, in other words, that can send us to another room. Which is a little strange to think about. So let's build an example and talk through how this works by examining room actions as part of interactions, a room actions as part of interactions as part of the dialogue tool in Bitsy. A whole lot of different concepts going on here. Let's start though by doing something weird. Let's put some T in this room. So T is a default item we can drop in as part of the default game that Bitsy gives us. And I've dropped in two different T's. And remember that whenever we interact with an item, we use it up and it becomes part of our inventory and leaves the room. So I'm going to go over here to sprites now, take the cat. I'm going to pop out the dialogue tool. And so what I'm interested in doing now is I'm going to create a branching list. When we create a branching list, we can then create paths or branches based on whatever items or the values are in inventory. So as we interact with items, the corresponding inventory value gets increased. So for every interaction, an increase in value. What we want to do is create a branching list such that if we have not collected enough T's within the room, the cat is going to transport us, use an exit as part of a room action, to another room because we have disobeyed this cat. So what I want to do then is I'm going to go ahead and put this into play. I want to have this say, I'm a cat, full stop. I'm going to add a break between this, so dialogue and a page break. Then what I wanted to say is part of a list, a branching list. What I am interested in is if T in inventory is less than two. I put two T's in here. So if it is less than two, that means we've not done it enough. But if it is two or greater than two, Then what I want to happen, so the first branch, so if T in the inventory is less than two, what I want to happen is not a dialog, I'm going to delete this. Instead, click right here, come down here, click add, a use a room action. So the room action I'm going to have is to exit. So move player to example room at zero, zero. So we're going to leave this right here. I'm going to come up here in the room tool. I'm going to duplicate this room right here. And now we've got example room copy one one. I'm going to come over here to item and I'm going to take these items back out. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here to example room. Let's come back over to sprite. We've now looking at the cat. It dialog tool is matched back up. I'm going to come down here to exit and it's going to give me some choices right here. Example room copy one one. And if I want, I can change it to other places. So keep in mind, the little tool tips will tell you. So zero, zero is up here in the upper left hand corner. What I'm interested in, let's move us to eight, seven. Oh, you know what? Let's eight, eight. Why not right in the middle? So I'll go ahead and change this. Could also type the number in if I wanted to. Eight, eight. So if T is less than two, it's going to send us to example room copy one. And otherwise it's going to say, I am happy. 
So remember, we can put things in different flows. Dialog flows from top to bottom within interactions within Bitsy. So it's going to say, I'm a cat. It's going to be a page break. And then what we want to happen is we want it to explain right before this happens. So we set this up, but what if we go ahead and add a new dialog? Let me fix my typing here. On all caps, you did not collect enough T. And then we're going to move this up. So we will be shown this and then moved, teleported to another room. So let's go ahead and see this in action. So if I play, and if T is less than two, we will see first, I'm a cat. Notice I'm following the dialogue right here. Then we're looking at a page break right here. You did not collect enough T. And now I'm transported to another room of which I cannot escape. There is no escape from the teleporting cat and we can't get back again. There are no exits or anything else. But notice I didn't actually use an exit or an ending or even use the exits and ending tool. I didn't place that. Instead, I used a room action. And this opens up new possibilities of things we can do within Bitsy. As we keep adding new and interesting actions and interactions, two things we can do. So we've seen that we can create dialogues and page breaks and sequence list, and cycle list, shuffle list, branching list, and now with even more room actions. So again, coming through the things I just mentioned, dialogue was dialogue and page break, over lists were sequence, cycle, shuffle, branching. And now we're looking at room actions, the first of which is exit. So using our teleporting cat, we cat teleported us using an exit action, a room action to move us from one room to another using stuff we already know. We've been building across videos by looking at branching list, which works on the inventory. Inventory is based on items. Items are things we use up. All things we have seen, concepts we have used across these number of videos now, now starting to really break away doing weird things about what interactions happen. So if we don't actually want exits, we don't really need them. We can do room actions if we would prefer setting up the same thing, doing a potential branching list, and now digging into extra interesting interactions, room actions in particular for this video, of things we can do. So if we want that teleporting cat, we can do it. By interacting with that cat, by not collecting enough tea, the cat can teleport us to another room. However, potentially, if we have enough tea, then we are not teleported and the cat is content with our tea collection. So using all of the tools we now have in our toolbox, building across multiple videos, employing multiple new patterns, thinking about interactions, especially dialogue within Bitsy8, we can start to do a number of really interesting things. But we needed to know lots of concepts, rooms, avatars, tile sprites, items, inventory, all of these things now in play as we move across and into future videos as part of this series on Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.